Hello and welcome to Take Time. I'm your host, Patrick Marlett, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at what's inside this box. And inside this lovely FedEx box is none other than an NTH Catalina. Now, before I get to our unboxing, I'd like to personally thank my friend Ricardo for getting me in touch with the folks over at Watch Gauge, and of course, John Keel for sending this my way. I'm actually really excited to take in this watch because it's coming from a trusted brand as well as a trusted YouTube personality. The NTH Catalina is a limited edition run co-designed by TGV of the Urban Gentry and Chris Vale of NTH watches. The name being inspired by the Catalina seaplane due to the watch's diver specs and pilot styling. This is actually my first time taking in an NTH sub. I've never seen one out in the wild, though I've seen them all over the Instagrams and here on YouTube. So I'm very excited for this first impression and unboxing. And of course, this is only part one of our two-part series. As you know, in part two, we'll go into an in-depth review on the watch. So without further ado, let's get inside the box and check out the watch. John over at Watch Gauge ensured me that the packaging you're gonna see here unpacked is the same that you will receive if you order a watch from Watch Gauge. Now, I try not to do these unboxings unless you're getting the full consumer experience, so uh, never expect anything less from the channel. I'm gonna to try to carefully cut into this without ruining anything inside the watch. Oh, that was a really nice cut. It's, it's hard to do this when you're looking through a camera, by the way. Hopefully I won't get myself with a knife at any point. Um, you know what, let's just try opening this side. Let's just try this way, and then, you know, if, uh, if the other way proves more successful, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do that way. We're gonna, we're gonna do it over here. Let's see if there's any different. Why even bother with knives anymore when people are putting pull tabs on everything? Let's just, just do this the right way. Oh, infinitely easier. Let's see if I can pull. And here it is. Oh, no, oh, oh, no, it's right, it's right here. Oh, it's right, there we go. Oh, yes. There, beautiful. Okay, let's get all this stuff out of the way. All right, here might be where we need our knife. Uh, let's get this cut right here. I feel tape. Oh, by the way, before we get to anything else, um, Haglin was kind enough, this is a new strap group. I say new, they've been around for a few years, but they were kind enough to gift a bunch of their straps to new Catalina owners. So when you purchase a Catalina watch, expect a few of their NATO style straps. So um, I, of course, I'm gonna talk about these a little bit later on the show. I'm actually doing a strap roundup for December. So stay tuned for more news on Haglin, but I'll talk about them then we're gonna go ahead and focus on the NTH here today. I'll put that off to the side as well. And there we go, a lovely watch gauge box with a note. First off, I thought this was being lent into the show. That note makes it sound like I own this watch. That's very cool. Secondly, I freaking love koalas. And uh, did you guys know this? Is this randomly allotted with every watch gauge watch? Or did you just look into my history and somehow find out that I, I love a good koala bear? Well, anyways, uh, you get a microfiber cloth, apparently with your purchase. Uh, I'm gonna leave that in the background. Of course, a watch gauge sticker. Also inside that letter is a note from John, personally thanking you for the purchase. Very, very cool. Um, but yeah, hey, photographic evidence, guys. Enjoy. Oh. Anyways, I'm gonna move all of this out of the way. I'm sure you guys are done uh, ogling and all of that. Let's get to the watch itself. All right, the packaging is actually pretty dope. It looks like the same sticker we received is the same used to enclose the watch. So if you wanna pretend like you're selling products from Watch Gauge, you use that sticker or just put it on your laptop or, or somewhere that you like to have your stickers kept. Let's see if I can get this open. Okay. So far I'm digging the experience. I've met John at just one occasion, but I can say that he was a really awesome character. And it's funny because I didn't know uh, he owned or worked Watch Gauge, like that was his company um, at first. Uh, it was later I found out, but uh, he wasn't selling that fact. It wasn't a part of his MO. He was just a really down to earth dude. So 
I can say that much about the company. This is my first time receiving anything from Watch Gauge, and um, hopefully we'll talk about more watches that are on their online catalog later as well. So here is the Catalina actually on the packaging. This is obviously custom made for the watch. Uh, I believe this is one of a uh, hundred made. I don't know if I can disclose that. I did. Uh, yeah, there's very, very limited run. So if you haven't gotten one and you wanted to get one, if you are an Urban Gentry fan, well, this is a probably good way to go. Uh, this looks like some sort of card holder, but 3M, you, you put this on your fr fridge? I don't know where you're putting this. Maybe the back of your phone. This looks like something you'd put on the back of your phone to hold your business cards. That's actually pretty dope. I've never seen one of these. All right. And the thing we all want to take a look at, obviously, is the watch. Um, I might adjust my exposure for you guys. One second. Hmm. Better? Better? Um, it's hard for me to tell. I, is this like a cigar holder? You just pull it? Yeah, something like that. Ooh. Ooh. Um, so this, uh, I'm going to take it off camera to smell it, because you know how much I love smelling uh, leather or faux leather goods to tell if they're real or not. But this is actually a really dope travel pouch. Really durable, um, solid construction here. Soft padding on the outside, so you don't need to worry about anything adjacent to it. But I'm liking this packaging a lot. And of course, without further ado, inside the pouch is the new Catalina. Now, I'm going to take all the wrapping off before I show you what this looks like, because it's hard to take it in here. Uh, and it looks like we have factory fresh uh, additional links. Very, very cool. So uh, if you have a larger wrist, uh, that shouldn't be an issue here. That's really nice that they considered that. Not a lot of folks consider putting additional links beyond what's already on the bracelet for their user base. So they must get a lot of people complaining that their wrists are simply too large for the watches there, but very cool addition. Now, before I go ahead and peel off these stickers, I know some of you like watching this. So here you go, guys, to fulfill your guilty pleasure. Oh yeah, <laughs> toss this off to the side. And I believe there's one more on the back. Let's get that out of the way. So on the back is the Urban Gentry or rather TGV's crest. Um, it is a lion holding an hourglass, very similar to my crest, a koala holding a baton. Let's go ahead and remove that. That's not true. I don't have a crest. I'm not that cool yet. But um, I love the look of it on the back. Really, really handsome. It kind of reminds me of the hippocampus found on modern omegas, where it's just that solid backing with the crest. Really good look for the watch and obviously a way to tie in with the Urban Gentry's channel as this is a collab project. But let's go ahead and take in that dial. And here we have the NTH Catalina. It's essentially a tricked out version of their sub design and a really handsome one at that. Props to you, Tristano, for working on this one. This is, I was telling Ricardo this, this is my favorite looking watch from the NTH catalog. And I'm not just saying that because I own it. I'm saying it because it's so darned good looking. I always love that pilot style 12 o'clock marker. I'm going to move these hands so we can take it in. But that pilot triangle over at the 12 o'clock with the two loom pips adjacent it. It's just a good look. Now, this is only an unboxing and first impression. Of course, stay tuned for our part two in-depth review on the watch where I give you the nitty gritty specs, which I'm sure you're curious about, but I'll get some of the essentials out of the way now. It's 40 millimeters in diameter with a 48 millimeter lug to lug distance. Excellent scale for most wrist. It's 11.5 millimeters thin, love that, and has 20 millimeter lugs. So of course the supplied Haglund straps will also be 20 millimeters. Now inside behind that beautiful crest is a Miyota 9015 automatic. And I can tell you firsthand that the first step to adjust the date that's found on the 1915 is still there. Um, you have to jump past that ghost step into the second step to allow for time setting. The bezel on this watch is unidirectional and 120 clicks. So this is obviously something they adopted from the rest of their sub range. Not a huge complaint for me because I don't find myself, I, I've only owned so many GMTs in the past. This is what they call a poor man's GMT with the uh, one through 12 markers on the bezel insert, but uh, it's not a huge deal breaker for me, but I do like seeing GMT bezels bi-directional. It would have been nice here. The top crystal is, of course, sapphire and true to form. It's diving nature. The crown is a screw in crown. Now, as with all first impressions, why don't we just take a moment to gush about this design? It's incredibly handsome, I have to say, in person. And I really love the insert used 
on the bezel. Now, at first I thought it was ceramic, but it's actually just a DLC coated, a very thick application of DLC coating on the insert itself with a brushed finish. And it works extremely well with the design. As a matter of fact, it reminds me of old vinyl records. And I love the choice of font on both the dial face and the bezel insert. There's a really great harmony with the overall look of this facade. The crown here is very large and easy to grip. And sans crown guards, it's all the easier to actuate your movement. And the scale of the crown is actually really nice in proportion to the watch. It slightly overhangs the top and bottom of the case. We'll see if that digs into our wrist in day-to-day -day use. But as I see it now, it looks very handsome in combination with the watch. And it looks like the case back is going to stick out just enough to provide a nice comfortable fit while on the wrist. And of course, I'll show you a wrist shot in just a second. The application of loom here is very generous with a thick amount applied to the dial. You can actually see it on our camera here, as well as BGW9 applied to the hands and bezel insert itself. So this thing should light up in the dark. And of course, expect a loom shot in our part two video. The case of the NTH Catalina is rated to 300 meters of water resistance, so if you are concerned about wearing your watch in the water, don't be here. I believe all of these subs actually have a 30 Atmos rating, so that shouldn't be a concern if you do a lot of light swimming, or you sweat a lot at the office, or you just want to wash your hands without taking your watch off. That should not be a concern with this watch. The bracelet, which I'll size a little bit later for my wrist, is somewhat generic, but it works very well with the styling of the Catalina. And the clasp itself, I know I've seen in the past, but this is a very good clasp. Heavy duty, great locking system, and easy to open and close with a double button push deployant system. And with the clasp open, why don't we go ahead and take a look at that stamped crest on the back. Again, very handsome application here. I love how it's been done. The scale of it is just right. Again, very reminiscent of what Omega does with their line of watches. And you have some relevant information on the back there. Automatic, sapphire crystal, of course, stainless steel construction. And at the bottom there near the hourglass, it gives you the water resistance rating. Now, why don't we go ahead and take a look at what the NTH Catalina might look like on your wrist. And here's the NTH Catalina on a seven and a quarter inch wrist. Again, at 40 millimeters, it's the perfect scale for most all wrist. I find anything that is under 41 millimeters in diameter and under 49 millimeters from lug end to lug end wears well on most wrists. And at 48 millimeters from lug end to lug end, the NTH here is perfect on the wrist. And I've said this a few times, I feel over the course of this first impression, but this is just a very handsome watch. It's wearing extremely well. I can't wait to size this and check out those Haglin straps as well. But I have to say, I'm really impressed with the overall quality here. Chris over at NTH, fantastic job here. Now, if you own an NTH sub, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below on the brand and the overall quality of the watch. Or if you've been interested in picking one up, perhaps the Catalina here, feel free to stay tuned for a part two in-depth review of the watch. TGV, Chris, you guys did an awesome job with the overall design here. This could honestly be a staple in NTH's collection. I'm just that much of a fan of this design. Everything from the sword hands down to the font choice of the dial and bezel insert, it all just works and so well at that. Now, gang, if you found this video enlightening or in the least entertaining, feel free to hit that like button. It looks a whole heck of a lot like this. If you have friends, forums, or groups that are interested in picking up an NTH sub, well, feel free to share this video with them first so they can get an idea of what the consumer packaging will look like from groups like Watch Gauge. Again, thank you, John, for sending this my way. And if you're new to the channel, well, feel free to hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for our part two review on this watch or for any of the other watch content I provide here. Again, we do two or more videos a week. So if you're interested in watch content, this is a great channel for you. Again, my name is Patrick Marlette and thank you for the time.